A you know, New Mexico attorney is suing the state so he can talk about what he calls ongoing abuse and neglect inside CYFD. He says currently his hands are tied due to a state statute that makes revealing government misconduct in these cases a crime. The lawsuit asks a federal judge to throw out that statute. News 13's George Gonzalez explains. According to a lawsuit filed in federal court, New Mexico attorney Harold Adentio is alleging the violation of policies within the state's Children, Youth and Families Department. Without going into detail, the misconduct we're talking about is things that CYFD employee decisions that CYFD employees are making. Atencio's attorney, Benjamin Gubernick, says his client, who represents families of children who've been subject to abuse and neglect, learned of the violations within CYFD procedures. And this particular um, issue that we're talking about, it's only in the last um, month or so. This, this, is a, this, this, is, this is misconduct that he recently um, observed. Um, and, and wishes to talk about. The lawsuit alleges Atensi was made aware of possible corruption as well as conduct that threatened the well-being of a child. He thinks that this is, that what he's witnessed is egregious misconduct that the people should know about. However, if Atensi were to publicize the alleged CYFC misconduct under New Mexico state law, Atensi would be subject to a misdemeanor offense, as it is a crime to disclose any information relating to abuse and neglect proceedings. There is, I'm sure, quite a lot of other misconduct that um, people would like to disclose and that the public would like to, would like to know about. Um, but they're afraid to do so because, again, as long as the statutes are around revealing government misconduct as a crime. Gubernick says the lawsuit would put pressure on the attorney general and a district attorney, limiting anyone from enforcing the statute. George Gonzalez, KRQ News 13. The district attorney's office says they would not comment on the pending litigation. A spokesperson for the attorney general's office says they have yet to be served with the lawsuit. Once they review it, they say they will reevaluate their position.